They gonna love me for my ambition. Little Yachty has crashed out. After he said that he retired from the internet, Little Yachty unretired from the internet. He came back to the internet. I'm unretired real quick because he went viral without being on the internet. He was retired from the internet and he was he went viral because he did a podcast with Key Glock and he was talking with his best friend Mitch, who's the co-host of the podcast, a safe place podcast. Shout out to the Safe Place Podcast. Produced by Full Sun. Does it feel like a safe place? Doesn't feel like a safe place at all, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seems very toxic. Whenever whenever someone calls someone a safe place, I just know a toxic nigga try to get away with some bullshit. <laughs> so he shaded his friend during the podcast, and he was basically making it an awkward moment with his friend, but I guess that's how they are. And then it went viral, and people said, damn, Yachty is dropping Caribou from his label, and then he's leaving the internet, and then now he's doing this. He's coming out of his friend on this podcast. He looked crazy. It looked like a horrible PR day. Mitch didn't say nothing, so Yachty felt offended, and he's like, "Yo, how are you, my boy? We did this. I did created this podcast for you. He created it for him. He put money in his pocket, and he's like, "Hey, I did this for you, and you're not defending me. Like, you know, I'm off. Of, you know, I'm off of social media." So he did that. He called Mitch out. I'm gonna play the clips for context soon. Then Caribou, he said, "I don't want to do this, but I had to do it." Caribou, the one, not the two. You gotta know she's up. Caribou, his female rapper that he dropped from his label, she has. Been tweeting and deleting, and she tweeted and deleted to that post. Like, oh, you guys see, I was right this time, this whole, now you guys know what I mean, and de she deleted it. Basically saying, Yadi's not a good friend. You see what I mean? You see how crazy he gets? She deleted it. Then Yadi said, oh, you want to you wanna take it there? I'm going to go back online. He added her. He went back online on live stream, and he unleashed the thunder. He said that he, and he dropped proof that he writes all her verses. He dropped proof of her biggest verse on, on the radar. He the reference track. He put it out. He said that he dresses her. He dropped proof of that. He has proof of that. We all knew that because like they started his whole label started dressing like him, which is fine. I like that. That, that it moves like a team. That's some dope shit. Like a uniform type of vibe. I like that. But he used it against her. Like oh, I dressed you. I wrote for you. I made you who you are. People know you because of me. He said that she's disrespectful. That she's a uh, she's weirdo. That she talks to people badly. That he never looked down upon nobody, but she looks down upon people. Which is ironic because he was kind of looking down upon Mitch during the podcast. Clip. So he's like, bro. Saying he'd never get a job. Pretty hypocritical there, right? Saying he'd rob people. Because for those who don't know, Mitch is also a producer. He produces for Yachty, Concrete Boys. He's not just his um best friend, co-host podcast. He's actually a talented producer. So shout out to Mitch. So now let's play the clip right here. Which one's this one? Is Yachty going off on Mitch? I need to do something in life. Help me out. I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to give you a platform. I'm going to find someone to sponsor us, and I'm going to give you Full a platform. We're going to make a podcast. What's the drink? Happy Dad? Happy I'm Dad, a, I'm going to show they people sponsor. how funny you are. I'm going to show people how crazy you are. I'm going to show people, like, how cool you are. And it's going to give you a platform. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do no motherfucking podcast, nigga. I'm a motherfucking rapper, nigga. <laughs> Got millions of dollars. I don't need to talk to other rappers. What the fuck are we talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Don't put goddamn three, 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 four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. And y'all sitting here talking about something. He disrespecting his friend. And I got, I'm, I fuck, fuck, I ain't fucking with Mitch, bro. I talk, I, I been sleep all day. I wake up to this crazy shit. Mitch, how do I say, Mitch, how the fuck you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That tweet got goddamn six million views on it. Why the fuck you ain't going there telling folks we playing? Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how they is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, fuck that then, nigga. Fuck the podcast, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you and the podcast, nigga. How about that? I don't give a fuck about the podcast, nigga. Fuck the podcast, nigga. And every, and, like, what are we talking about, bro? All I do is help people, bro. I don't get nothing from none of this shit. I help. It was like cringe, uncomfortable. Now, don't get me wrong. This is like, to be honest, this is like podcast gold. Like stuff like this. This now, well, I'm hoping, hopefully they clear it up and like they become, they bring the podcast back. But it seems like they might not because you said Mitch with a Mitch tweet. I'll just tell you right now. He was like, what's, what's Yachty's number or some shit? <laughs> yeah, basically. So maybe Yachty's not responding to Mitch. But nope. now this builds like people love drama, right? So like on the Joe Budden podcast, like when they, they broke up. This builds up. People love that drama shit, right? We might, have, we might have to do like a fake drama shit in here. Might have to throw up on you or something. 
Nick, please, bro. Nigga said, hey, can somebody send me boat new number real quick? Question my question. <laughs> so, like, we don't got his number. Niggas in the comments are like, how are you asking us yeah. if we know? So now the next podcast, et cetera, like they drop it, et cetera, people now are going to be invested. Like, oh, my God, they got, they got, they cooled it up, et cetera, right? But putting that aside, aside from the entertainment aspect, in reality, obviously, this is some bullshit. Like, the way he's handling it is very egotistical, very, um, it's just something that you shouldn't go about this situation, even in private. But if you do about this, do this in private. But to do this That's on the platform, edit it out. Like, you don't need to put this on there because it's going to look crazy, like. You what think it's his decision to keep it? Because that's what I was asking you. Maybe. I mean, but it is produced by the full send. I don't know if they send it through Yachty and then they... Of course. The Nelk boy's like, oh, now you can drop it like this. I don't know. Because let's be honest, Vic. Even in the room, I asked the room, you see this, your first reaction, tell me now, is going to be, we should, probably shouldn't post this. Yeah. So who greenlit this is my question. Because from the reaction on the IG Live, it sounded like Yachty was okay with it. And seems that's like, seems like it's, a, it's unprofessional, no control, or they're out of they're out of control. Because he's getting mad at Mitch, bro. Get mad at the yourself. Why did you let this happen? Why do you let this re be released? You know, people are gonna interpret it how yeah. they're gonna interpret it. Like, are you that naive? I think Yadi's so naive now that he thinks like, what the fuck? And also, you retire from the internet, stay off the internet. You know, the internet is gonna be the internet. People are gonna say what they're gonna say. Just like clear it up with Mitch behind the scenes, like. You know I didn't mean that like that or whatever. Like, whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. And then move past it and then just keep the podcast going. But he wants to address the internet. Like, you... you Fuck the internet. They're going to think what they're going to think. It's obvious. Now you want to combat them. You're making yourself work, look worse, Yachty. Because you can't deny the facts. You look like an egotistical maniac doing that. Like, your friend this and that. You're, of course, yes. But you don't need to shove it in his face. Why would someone want to even, like, be a part of that if you're shoving it in his face like that? Like, And also, at the same time... You're acting like like the guy was like a broke, like he had no, he was down to zero dollars and like, yeah, you put money in his pocket, but he was a producer. He, he I'm pretty sure the guy wasn't like dead broke sleeping on the fucking in the, in the streets. Like you're making it seem like he was like that and you saved his life and oh my god, you're a savior. No. And if you're helping people, God bless you, but to rub it in people's face It's crazy. You look crazy. You, you look talking crazy. About the girlfriend part? With the ex? Well, yeah, the Mitch uh when it cleared things up, he said, let's clear some things up. Please don't take that clip and misguide you. It doesn't represent me and Yachty's friendship at all. We joke around petty, pretty harsh, too, time, too much sometimes for real. But in real life, it's nothing but respect and love. I can't even but, get on here and act like not. But now you're asking for his new number. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't nobody, little bro. Never been checking my, check my history. I've had stats before I met bro, et cetera. And Mitch is more allegedly street affiliated. It's just had, he, he's been arrested for shit he's done in the past, et cetera. So I guess that's what he might mean by stats, you know, et cetera. Um, but then Mitch had an ex-girlfriend, Camille, that went off on Yachty. Came with the fire. And then Yachty, let me try to find it right here. And then Yachty went off on her. This got, this got crazy, right? So I'll play some of the clip right here. Dumbass broad. Hold on, bitch. This is Yachty bitch, going at Camille. You dumb broad. This nigga was telling you lies just to get away from you, ho. What is you talking about, ho? Nigga, talking about all the times you called him. He was in meetings. Mitch ain't never did no damn meetings the soldier for me, boy, nigga. Listen. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Nigga, with me, me, bro, me, bro, stop, stop playing with me, ho. You wasn't, you're not even a factor in this, bro. Stop, stop playing with, on some soldier boy shit, right? You sound drunk as shit. And this was what, um, I think I put it below this tweet. This is what she was saying. As fuck. Like, I'm so, like, and Mitch, I know you're finna be mad as hell. I know you're finna be mad as hell because you hate when I come to the internet, but I, I can't. Like, this nigga took it to the internet. This nigga boat took it to the internet. So let's take it to the fucking internet. This, this, because I'm somebody cousins, that's Sue, been Mitch here since 20 the fuck 19. Like, cousin in law. When you the cousins. put your fucking career through what, through to marriage. the fucking side oh, hell no. to be this nigga's everything. And they fucked. Manager, role manager, Tell creative director, incest. all that shit. Who That's was fucking sending them meetings? Every time I fucking called my ex-boyfriend, he was in a fucking meeting for your stupid ass. And you go sit up here and say... Oh, and that's why Yadi was like, are you like you like um bitch, he was lying. Like, what the fuck? He wasn't no meetings for me. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, <laughs> bitch? Blah, blah, blah. And Yadi deleted that. It got crazy. It got crazy, right? That was that. Um, I think Yadi needs to clear that up with um Mitch, and I hope that they move past it. That's disgusting to see online play out, but people do love the drama shit. So the value of the podcast, if they keep it going, 
has increased because people love like behind the scenes drama, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think it's um it's not worth the risking the friendship because Mitch seems to be like a cool guy, especially because of the fact that he has enough balls to be like, hey, I'm still cool with him. Like, uh, that's how we are, blah, blah, blah. Anyone else would have be justified in being like, fuck this guy. What the fuck this nigga? I don't give a fuck about you in the fucking podcast, bro. What the, what the fuck? Niggas on the internet. I'm lit. already lit. He, might, he can go to another pod or whatever. Come here, Mitch. Come. Well, we're not going to give you no money, but we got no money. But <laughs> yeah, we got no you money. can come on for an episode, Mitch, though. I would love to uh, interview you. Niggas are saying he folded. <laughs> and this is Yachty going off at Caribou. Not the two, oh, not care, the one. Right? Because right now I'm on some fuck everybody type shit. Woo! Yeah. Fuck everybody. Nigga, fuck. All I ever did was help care. Nigga, care. If you want to tell this shit, tell the whole story. Go ahead and tell people how you verbally abuse people. Damn. All right? Don't get on here and make it seem like niggas kicked you out. Damn. Like niggas kicked you out because, uh, bullying you? Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. Damn. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home? Oh, you work for me. Oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor. And, uh, Damn. we above you and <laughs> how you, you talk to people like they nothing. That nigga let you die. You talk to people like they're like they small, like they like they beneath you. Beneath him, oh damn. Bro, bro, come on. Tell people, tell people how, tell people how you verbally abuse people. How you told me you gonna spit on me when you see me. Damn. Tell people how you talk to people, bro. Saliva? Yeah, you how how you how you your brain is clinically imbalanced, bro. How you disrespect people. How you how you go around treating people in your everyday life. I've been letting you no, do this whole thing hilarious. where you act like you like a princess and you sweet. That's and a you know, put like, a oh, you just such a good girl. Bro, stop the front, bro. We didn't internally we have withheld your Yo, bro. It's so crazy to me, bro, because I fucking I I I've given you a career. And time to time you just disrespect me. I wrote every fucking verse you've done. I dressed you. I dressed all five of y'all niggas, bro. I dressed five niggas every time we stepped out the house. I put an outfit on everybody. I put eight carat earrings in everybody ear. I this nigga, this nigga made, this nigga was their dad. This nigga said, I put clothes on you before you left the house. Here you go, son. Here you go, daughter. Here you go. Put this on. Now you can go to school. Bro, someone on Twitter said, fuck? Yachty was dressing them like the Wiggles. God damn. <laughs> said it about like the Wiggles. Yeah, no. And, and yeah, Yachty, the thing dying. is, the track record is bad because we saw what happened with um, uh, Burberry Perry, Cody Shane, that old label, right? Mm -hmm. Now fast forward again. Oh, the Perry interview came back up, I remember. Now it's happening again, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we do have Caribou responding. Over the weekend, this was her performing. She said, who ain't write it? Who ain't write it? Because that song, I guess, is her biggest song. Yeah, solo she song. posted that. Um, and she said that she wrote that. Mm -hmm. her. This is her performing. People are making fun of her, though. Look at this. Because the concert. There's no one there. Is it a festival? No one there. But, bro, she's still performing. That takes a, takes a lot of balls. I'm not going to double down on her and bully her. The internet's doing because of this. They're kind of crazy, though. It's an it's a early, early festival. Early festivals that have performers like this, Caribou. What do you, people want? You think Caribou's gonna headline Royal Loud? Like she's what? She's gonna be at the be beginning stages, right? The crowds, how it is, is low. I don't think it's. She's still performing. She has the backdrop. She's professional. She's doing her thing. I think it is. It's, it's, no, it's yeah. dope. She's yeah. a young artist working. You guys just never see what it takes to get to the final product. Exactly. You just see the final product. Exactly. And she addresses this, right? So we have her addressing it to close off the topic right here. Caribou addresses. Yachty, right here. I'm going to just go to my page. Someone said, I wonder how many Drake songs did Yachty write? I don't know. He's definitely wrote written a couple Drake hooks, probably five hooks. That Cash Cobain song, the one that Cash produced, he wrote that song. I can tell. I'll tell you right now. My if fairy care about me, hear it in my music. Mama said I get the gun, scared that I'm going to use it. Yachty, I could see Yachty writing that, but she's saying that he didn't. Where the fuck is my post, man? Where is my post? You guys see it? Am I bugging out? Which one? Caribou. Over here. 
Caribou. So this is Caribou. She said, I'll never forget this feeling, this chapter of my life. I'll never be the same. I'll never forget who wasn't there for me. I done chomp people out, spent my last slap folks for niggas. I ride every time naturally, but that's how I am. Nobody owe me shit, to be honest. I'm just taking a mental note. Fuck you talk about, nigga. I can't even look at the most people the same way. Damn. I done changed. Wow. I'm a fucking maniac now. No, she didn't say that. Beat me. To- <laughs> Intrusive thought. <laughs> intrusive thought just came out. God bless. God Joke, bless. Just jokes. <laughs> to know the truth and watch a grown man with 12 million followers overly lie on my name and publicly bully me for literally no reason at all. I've been silently been conquering all that shit niggas been throwing at me. I smell like shit. That's how much shit niggas thrown at me. Fuck you talking about. Me this whole time behind closed doors. I'll never forgive. I'll never ignore the signs again. I will never stop no matter what, how much they hate me. That's why she was that performance. I like that energy, yeah. though. This is do- this is why she got to be. She's a runner. She says she's a runner. She's a track star. She said, I never threw rocks, and you have my number, you big grown bitch. Wow. You fat ass codeine drinking bitch. Wow. Leave me alone, literally, little yachty. You bitch. You little yachty. I never said a- nothing about this shit, and I still ain't said nothing about what's really going on. I don't want no beef with you industry people. Just move on with your life. People stop trying to bring me down. When I stay out the way, I'm done talking. You got it. Your character gonna speak for itself, you fat bitch. Your little boat is actually a raft. You, your boat sunk, you bitch. That's her words, not mine. Um, you drink codeine every day, bitch. I think Caribou's actually talented. Now, if she does not write none of her stuff, I don't think that she's gonna really last long. Because her talent, in my opinion... Was some of the clever witty I lines? Think, I think you're gonna see the real caribou now. <laughs> some of the clever, uh, the, the clever lines on the radar. What she say? Um, Yari wrote that. The pit, right? The armpit shit, musty, under the pit. Like the the bar was hard. If she didn't write that, it's like, okay, and it's fine if you have your writer with you. But if she didn't write that, and also the person that wrote it is not with her no more, little Yari, and it's not like like little Yari can't write. Little Yachty's a phenomenal writer. Yeah. Little Yachty wrote hits for the city girls. He wrote it from a female's perspective. That's a that's a talent, bro. No, he's a goat. That's a talent. Like you have to give him what like talent with his dude. Like you niggas he can really hate knows, Yachty. He knows he's how a talented bitch, motherfucker. He knows how bad bitches think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she she did, I think didn't she mention something about his son or something? About being a father? I think so. She said, just go be a father. Yeah, so that might be a lower blow that might, he might be offended by. Because for those who don't know, Yadi has a child. He had it with the, like this uh, Twitter famous model girl. She's beautiful. I forgot her name. She had I like didn't a, even know that. She had like a nail line or something line, bikini line too. Um, but oh, is in the nail line here? Well, that's different, yeah. But God bless Yadi. Again, little Yadi versus the world. This keeps getting more and more. And also, little Yadi unfollowed Drake. But then refollow Drake. He's not on the SOD song with Drake. Drake took him off, or he took himself off. And he looked pretty depressed in that interview with Charlemagne. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like the world's against Lil Yachty. And kind of rightfully so. Like, he keeps fucking up. He keeps fucking up. But if Drake's not fucking with him, it's going to get crazy. Y'all need to understand the value of shutting the fuck up. And that was a clip from our podcast, the Club Ambition Podcast. Cap, if you're looking to watch the full episode, make sure to go check it out right now. It's available on audio and also on YouTube.